Austin Fury might not hold any championship titles, but he does hold the title of worst money in the bank cash in ever. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling. I wanted to make a quick video on Austin Fury's unsuccessful cash in on Monday night. Raw. Now, if you didn't watch Monday Night Raw, Austin Fury came out at the end of it. He cashed in his briefcase for a shot at the title. You might be thinking, oh, Roman Reigns' title? Which one? The Universal? The WWE Championship? No, neither. It was actually the US Championship, which is it's so fucking stupid, man. And I'll explain why it is in a minute. But yeah, he cashed it in. He didn't win. He was unsuccessful. He got curb stomped by Seth Rollins, who had an assist from Bobby Lashley and Austin Fury lost in the ring and not only did he lose the match he lost his opportunity at the championship and he lost his money in the bank briefcase now a lot of people have been saying why this happened and that doesn't really matter to me as much like you can argue why it happened you can argue why it didn't happen triple h obviously didn't want this guy to be a champion he didn't want him to be world champion and in all honesty is austin theory ready to be champion I don't think so. Definitely not. He's not a world champion. Maybe he could be in the future, but right now, this, how's this guy supposed to be a world champion? Especially when Roman Reigns has got the belts. How do you go from Roman Reigns' historic over two-year title reign? How do you go from that to Austin Fury? That, the, the answer is, you don't. Now, obviously, Austin Fury won the Money in the Bank briefcase when A, a lot of people didn't think he should have won it. A lot of people were pissed off that he won it. And B, the man that wanted him to win it the most was Vince McMahon. McMahon was a big supporter of Austin Fury, or as Roman Reigns would say, his daddy. So... McMahon's no longer in the company. That's another reason why I think, if you look at it since McMahon left, Austin Fury has barely won a match. So, I mean, it's no surprise to see this fa uh, this failed cashing. That's not what surprises me, right? Austin Fury was never going to win. He could barely beat bombs. He couldn't even beat Johnny Gargano. How's this guy going to cash in and be a world champion? The answer is, he's not. But what really bothers me is the fact he cashed in for a shot at the United States Championship. At best, the US title is a mid card championship but let's be honest at the moment in WWE the titles are relevant they can cry they can claim they can lie they can say it's the main title on Raw they can say that Seth Rollins and Bobby Lashley have carried it to a world title status but at the end of the day it's a US title that ever really since it's been brought into the WWE it's never really meant that much let's be honest it's always been inferior to the Intercontinental Championship and look at the Intercontinental Championship, that doesn't mean anything these days. So how's the US title supposed to be a worthy championship? So why would Austin Fury, you know, he, he was a US champion. He's going backwards. He was the US champion. He lost the US title. And then he won the Money in the Bank briefcase in the same fucking night. So why would he do that? Why would he have a shot at the world title and decide that he doesn't want that and he wants to cash it in for an opportunity to go backwards and hold a US title that he's already held? It makes absolutely zero fucking sense. It makes no sense. Even if you're a retard, which I guess Triple H is, it may, even a retard can tell that this makes no sense. I just don't understand it. The guy was already US champion. He lost his US championship match. He moved on to the Money in the Bank match, a bigger match, the main event scene. He wins the Money in the Bank briefcase. Why would you waste that opportunity at a world title and cash in for a mid-card title that you've already held? It, and you've already moved up. It makes absolutely no... The whole thing is fucking stupid. And Austin Fury, where does he go from here? Honestly, the, the guy's stock is at an all-time low. I, I, I don't see what he does. I mean, it doesn't matter. Moving on brand's not going to help. At this stage, I think probably the best thing would be move him to NXT. At least that maybe he could win the NXT title. If Why not have him cash in on Braun Breaker? At least you can argue that NXT title is like the main title on the, the brand. It's a world title in NXT. Like, and he's never held that belt. So at, at least, and he would have been in a main event feud. So, I mean, I, they could have done that. But what they did do was decide to do probably one of the, and WWE do a lot of stupid shit. But this was bad. This was really bad. So let me know, guys, your opinions down below. Do you agree with this? Do you agree with me? Do you think Triple H's big nose is sexy? Do you love Triple H? Do you think Triple H is the king of wrestling? Because I personally think his WWE fucking sucks.